Hey Cancer, happy birthday. Somebody got upset because I said happy birthday to you guys a little bit early last time. But happy birthday to you uh, Cancers who are having your birthday early on in the season. This is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we're going to focus on June 21st through the 27th. Now if you happen to stumble upon this video outside of those dates, fear not. Uh, you were led here whenever you were meant to hear those messages. This is a general reading. Not every single message will resonate. So take what does and leave the rest, my dears. Alrighty, my dears. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Sun, moon, and rising. And the first card we have coming up here is the Four of Swords. Now, Four of Swords for me in my readings typically comes up for somebody when like mentally, emotionally, sometimes even physically, you have been through the ringer. You've been through a lot when I see Four of Swords. And a lot of the times it comes up because somebody is really impatient and pushing themselves really hard to like hurry up and get everything done. And this is a card that comes up to remind the person that look, you need some time to rest. You need some downtime. And uh, sometimes this can even come up after a period of like, you feel like you finally got unblocked, you feel like things are finally moving forward, and then you get frustrated because it's not moving as fast as you want. Again, Four of Swords comes up to say, look, it's time for some rest. It's time for a little bit of a, of a pause here. And this is time for you to focus on your spiritual relationship, establishing a relationship with God, you know, universe, higher power, uh, coming into that connection. Okay. A lot of the times I also see four of swords coming up when you're coming into a time of uh, kind of uh, downloading information, downloading messages, downloading uh, guidance. So uh, sometimes we're kind of slowed down some of us have experiences where things happen that slow us down uh and some of us just kind of get to the point where we're just really tired and we can't keep pushing so when i say experiences happening that slow us down spirit is showing me uh the example i don't know if you've ever been like in a hurry to get somewhere and some car will come in front of you and completely slow you down and you try to get another lane and then they change their lane too and you're like oh i wish this person would get out from away from in front of me like sometimes the universe will come in and slow us down so there might be delays not blocks but delays and if you're experiencing delays don't get frustrated. Know that you're being given a little bit of a, of a time to just kind of slow down, to breathe, to make your spiritual connection. Uh, because big, big changes are coming in for cancer. That's been an ongoing theme for you guys. Uh, but understand that when big changes happen, we have to have tremendous faith to walk through the doors that are opening. Okay, and this is time for you to, to establish that connection and to begin building your faith so that you're going to have the courage to accept the opportunities that come your way down the road. Your next card here, my dears, is the death card. So if you have a Scorpio placement, that could be really coming in a uh, full front and center in your life right now. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We know traditionally the death card is associated with the astrological sign of Scorpio. Now I will say this, my darlings, uh, keep in mind that in the weekly forecasts, I try to focus on you and you specifically and less about other people. I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot readings uh, because they're curious about their love life and there's nothing wrong with that. I do a love reading once a month where I focus on love and I have that link in the description. But right now I want to focus on you. I want to focus on the cancers out there and what's going on in your life and your journey and less about other people. That doesn't mean some of you might not be dealing with a Scorpio romantically or non-romantically, but for a lot of you, this is the energy that you're coming into. And it makes perfect sense following the Four of Swords because Four of Swords is that exhaustion. It's like, man, I've been through a lot. But then the Death card is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. The Death card is that powerful uh, comeback 
right? Like the old cycles are ending and the new beginnings are coming in. I also see this card come up a lot of the times for people when they're going through ego death. Ego death sounds terrifying, but it really isn't scary. In the beginning, it might feel scary for you because you might feel like, man, you know, like nothing's making me happy. I used to really love hanging out with these people or I used to really love listening to this music or I really love these TV shows. And all of a sudden, you don't like anything anymore. And that can be kind of scary because you think, what's going on? How come I don't like anything? How come I don't like the people in my life? You know, uh, am I un... Am, am I incapable of being happy? No, you're not incapable of being happy. You're just shaking off the conditioning, right? We're, we all kind of get labeled and conditioned growing up. And I see the death card come up when you're shaking that off and coming back into your authenticity. And so your taste starts changing. The, the type of person you're attracted to starts changing. Uh, the type of uh, things that you enjoy doing starts to change. You might even notice talents and interests that you had no idea even existed. But it's coming into an authenticity. So some of you might kind of feel a little bit lackluster right now. You might be like, yeah, I don't like this. Eh, I'm not feeling that. Because you're shifting. You're shifting. You're shifting into your authenticity. This could be happening for some of you. Keep in mind this is a major arcana card. Major arcana cards are going to come up when you're at a significant crossroads and when you're coming into a new chapter in your life. So typically for me, the death card says that this is a permanent change, right? If you're making a move, it's going to be a permanent move. If you're making a career change, it's going to be a permanent career change. You're not going back to what you're leaving behind. Your next card here, my darlings, is the sun, another major arcana card. That really totally makes sense to me why you guys kicked it off here with the four of swords. I told you. Big changes are coming in for Cancer. That's been an ongoing theme for you guys. And when the major arcana cards come in back to back in my readings, it tells me massive energetic shifts. Okay? We're talking ascension. We're talking breaking out of obstacles, breaking out of blockages, coming into a higher vibration, coming into a higher frequency. Uh, you know, these are all the things that happen to get us unblocked right? So we know with the death card here, it's coming into happy times. It's coming into freedom. I'm specifically hearing freedom. I heard freedom three times. Uh, traditional meanings of the sun card are freedom, uh, travel, uh, true love, uh, playfulness, you know, the childlike energy, inner child energy. So there's a tremendous amount of growth. There's a tremendous amount of like coming from that darkness into the light okay and for me this tells me a lot of you are coming into uh developing the courage to allow yourselves to be seen in your authenticity so without the editing without putting yourself out there how you feel uh you have to and this is gonna come true for a lot of you guys who've been doing things and trying to uh collaborate with other people or move some business idea along or try to get attention for something on social media like when i say attention for something i mean like a cause or an organization or something that might be near and dear to your heart uh you're coming into authenticity and you're not doing it from the angle of oh this is really popular people might like this or oh this kind of thing gets a lot of likes let me put this out there. No, you're abandoning that. And you're just coming from authenticity and playfulness and freedom. And that's shining the light on you. That's helping you to be seen. And that's helping you to have the freedom of expression and success. Another traditional meaning of the sun card here is going to be success. Okay? So this is really powerful energy coming in back to back. Where we know that there are like, like positive things happening. But also with the death card with it, we know that th this is a permanent change. This isn't going to be uh, like a, a, you know, a, a temporary uh, little moment of, of good luck that fizzles out. But temporary happy, I mean permanent happy positive changes. Now your next card here my darlings is the six of pentacles. Now this is really positive. This is a very positive reading. Okay, 
Six of Pentacles is gonna be traditionally having to do with generosity, wealth, um, if you're in debt, getting out of debt, uh, being able to have the ideal financial situation, which is gonna be you have money being put away for the future already, like you have a nice little savings, you've got a nice little cushion, money continues to come in, you continue to put money away for the future, you continue to uh, enjoy your life and do the things you want to do, and you can be generous and help other people when you feel moved to do so. So it's this really positive energy. It's like, uh, you know, there's this flow, you're in this flow right you're in this flow and a lot of you are going to experience this energetically before you experience it financially but you might notice that people show up and start pulling their weight more especially if you're somebody who, who you feel like you've always had to carry everybody you're beginning to find yourself in situations where people are pulling their weight there's an even exchange you're not the one who's constantly keeping things together you're not the one who's constantly keeping things going but there's that even flow and exchange and then you'll see it in your finances as well some of you are in a situation that you're really begrudging right now you're really upset about it because with this four of uh, uh swords and this six of pentacles for some of you i feel like you're in a situation where you're relying on the kindness or generosity of others and and you want to hurry up and be out of it you're like i want to be on my feet i want to be making my money i want to have my own place you know i'm i'm an independent person i don't want to be relying on other people but this is a time for you to release spirit is giving you a time to release to rest to catch your breath right even if you're not staying with someone else uh, this is an important time for you, like I said, to form that relationship and to form your faith because the doors that are opening are leading to such massive changes that you're going to be really tempted to walk away from it. Oh, I was just kidding. I'm okay with my old life. Uh, you know, and we start to shrink back into the comfort zone. You have to have courage and you have to have faith to embrace the change, even when it's a good thing. And we know it's going to be a really good thing, Cancer. We know it's going to be a really good thing. These are major arcana cards, and we've had some powerful energies coming in. Uh, the week of the full moon, not the new moon, the week of the full moon we had a while back, I talked about that. Uh, we had an eclipse then. We had a lunar eclipse with the new moon as well. So whenever we have eclipses, uh, it's going to extend the energy out six months, sometimes longer. So this is going to be a transition. This is going to be a really powerful time of change, a really powerful time of growth and coming up. And you need to be ready. You need to be ready and have the faith and have the courage to receive your blessings because that's where you're headed. Be sure to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those are going to resonate with others. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Uh, the love and romance readings are linked in the description for June. July will be up soon. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Bye, my dears. Take care.